Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dreams channel. Today's tutorial is about making a very beautiful bracelet using Rula and Super Duo together. You'll discover that both beads together will allow us to get a gorgeous bracelet and you already know that Super Duo and Rula has a very large range of colors and effect available. So let's take a look at the material we need. First of all, let me introduce you to our company where you'll find all the parts I'm going to use www.crystaldream.s and here the way you can contact with us through email or WhatsApp for any further question you could have. Remember that we ship worldwide. We will need super duo beads choosing the colors that best match together and that is a very tricky issue because the assortment is very big so you can take a long while to plan how to combine your colors. Then we will also need 11-0 and 15-0 seed beads, I'm currently using Miyuki beads but you can also choose other brands. To set the bracelet we choose Rula beads as well that are from the same house factory of Super Duo so the holes have the same distance. Then we need Nemo thread or similar like Sono, Miyuki, Salon, you can choose. A magnetic clasp and scissors. Let's get started. First we build two ruler strips that will track the pattern of our bracelet. So insert a ruler bead then cross both tips in the same hole, then move forward crossing both tips again in the second hole of the bead. Ok, then insert a new ruler and repeat the same steps again so cross both tips in the first hole and then in the second one. As you can guess, we will follow all the time repeating these steps until to get the length of the bracelet we plan to use. For my wristle I need 28 rulers. And then as we need two strips, build a second one exactly as we just done. 10 grams pack of Rula is enough for all the bracelet. It's now time to start inserting Super Duo. To do that we will pass the thread through the first hole of the first Rula. Then we insert a 15-0 seed, then a Super Duo, then a 11-0, another Super Duo, another 11-0, followed by a Super Duo, and a 15-0 seed. Once you got all these beads inserted, pass the tip inside the same hole of the second strip we made with the rulers. And here our first line looks like. So now we can go one step forward with the second hole of the ruler strips. Before to do that we need to insert three 11-0 seed beads on the tip and then pass them in the following hole we have on the ruler strips. Insert our 15-0 seed bead and pass the tip inside the second hole of the Super Duo we already inserted before. And then add a new Bordeaux Super Duo and return passing the tip inside the second hole of the Super Duo we already had of the same color. To follow the pattern I planned I need to insert a new Bordeaux Super Duo and then pass the thread through the second hole of the Lila Super Duo and finally to fill the gap between the last Super Duo and the Rula, I will use a 15-0 seed B. It could seem very difficult at the first sight, but apart the first row, you'll discover that the bracelet is made by repeating all the time the same process. Ok, move forward the tip, so insert other three 11-0 seed beads and pass the thread on the third hole of the Rulas. Once you get it passed, insert a 15-0 seed bead, then a Bordeaux Super Duo, then pass the tip inside the second hole of the previous Bordeaux Super Duo I already had, 
and to follow the pattern I planned, I insert a new green super duo between the two, two Bordeaux we previously had inserted. And to close the third row, I insert a new Bordeaux Super Duo and a 15-0 seed bead, then pass the thread through the third hole of this ruler strip. Okay, move forward to build the fourth row. So insert three 11 0 seed beads again and pass the thread in the next hole we have in the ruler strip. Then insert a 15-0 seed, pass the thread in the second hole of the previous Bordeaux Super Duo, then insert another green Super Duo and pass the thread in the second hole of the previous green Super Duo we had, and follow with inserting a new green Super Duo, then close the row, passing the thread through the Bordeaux Super Duo we had, insert and insert a 15-0 bead. This is the way we have to work all the time until to get the length of the bracelet we planned. Ok, so let me follow a little more and pay attention to the video. You see that I'm going to repeat these steps all the time. Here you are, the bracelet is almost finished. I'm going to show you how to close the work right now. We left previously the extremities of the ruler without finishing. I need to enforce and to hide the extremities, repassing the threads inside the latest rulers. So move back the threads and join both tips together and make a knot and cut away the tips who left. Repeat the same in other ruler strip. Is now missing only one row of Super Duo. Hence, inserting three 11 0 beads, pass the thread through the next hole and insert a 15 0 seed. A little Super Duo. Then a Bordeaux Super Duo. A little Super Duo and a 15-0. The last closing row is made by a 15-0, 11-0, another 11-0 and a 15-0 seed bead inserted between all the super duo we had. And here you are, the bracelet is amazing and we have to plan now the closure we are going to use. 
I previously showed you a sliding magnetic clasp that could be the better solution for this white bracelet. Okay, I already inserted one side of the clasp and I will show you now how I did it with the second part. As my clasp is golden color, I will remove the green seed beads I inserted before and I replace them with golden 11-0 seed beads. Ok, to start sewing the clasp, pass the thread through the previous hole of the ruler and then pass it through the 15-0 seed bead Insert a new 11-0 seed bead and pass the thread through the first ring of the clasp Pass now the thread through the 11-0 seed bead again and the next golden 11-0 seed bead we have on the bracelet. Ok, the next ring, insert a 11-0 golden seed bead, pass the thread through the second ring, then through the golden 11-0 seed bead again. and follow with 11-0 golden seed bead we already had. And at last the third ring, a new 11-0, pass the thread through the next hole, repass the thread through the 11-0 again and the following 15-0 bead and the ruler. Here my clasp and as always I advise you to repass the thread tips through the latest beads to enforce our work and to get our clasp completely tensed and stuck. Join both tips together at the same point and cut off the thread who left them done. Here you are, our very beautiful bracelet. Sometimes I think that it's impossible to make something so gorgeous. And you probably think the same, but if I cannot, you can as well. Okay guys, thank you so much for your time. Remember that the hands are of my wife. And of course I'm not a guy with a girl's hands or a girl with a man voice as you commented on my videos <laughs> please visit my website www.crystaldreams.s join us on facebook and subscribe to our channel see you next time happy beating bye bye